Hi there, my name is Chelsea Gibson and with Waldrose Wellness and you are here for my free daily video series on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook. And so today I am talking about what flooding is. Now, not flooding like water flooding in your house, but it does feel that way. Flooding is emotional flooding. It's the moment that you feel overwhelmed with either stress or anger or sadness and it's overflowing and you just can't handle one more piece of either bad news or stimulus you just can't handle life so what do you do now i was born highly sensitive you can look up hsp highly sensitive person which means i get flooded quite easily and i've had to learn over the years what to actually do with myself and tools so that i can actually ground myself when i feel flooded so i'm going to teach you today a couple of tools that i use when i feel flooded first of all the first thing first don't judge yourself a lot of the time what happens, we feel flooded, where something has happened, we've gotten an email, we've got bad news, the COVID-19, and we get flooded. So it means that we get a rush of emotions that we feel like we can't control, anger, stress, anxiety, depression, and it rushes through us. What you want to do in that first moment that you feel that, become extremely mindful that you're feeling it and not judge yourself. I cannot stress the importance of this. If you continue to judge yourself that you're in this state, You'll never be able to get out of it because you'll be judging yourself, contributing to the feelings of being flooded, okay? Second of all, I want you to touch the ground with your toes, okay? Feel your, right? You're grounding in your body. You're feeling your toes touch the earth. You're feeling your bum in the seat. You're taking a deep breath. You're allowing your body to feel that breath, okay? You're getting present. What happens when we get flooded is we get uncomfortable. So we lift up and out of our body and we disassociate with our body, we lose presence because we're uncomfortable. We're like, oh, get me out of here. So what happens is in that process of, ah, get me out of here, we lift up and out and we're like, peace, and out we go. You don't want to do that. Why? Because then you lose your presence and your ability to facilitate yourself. You lose the ability to actually have control over what you do have control over, okay? I used to do that all the time. Don't do it. <laughs> I'm much happier now that I'm grounded and that I actually can be with my discomfort. Because remember, this is just discomfort. Okay, so number three, <laughs> what I want you to know is that no matter what the emotion is, there's nothing that you are doing that is wrong. Next, what I want you to do is actually ask yourself, okay? Tip number three is ask yourself, what do you need right now? Because what's important is you don't judge yourself that you're being wrong or that there's something wrong. There's nothing wrong with you. You're just flooding with emotion. First, you just want to ask yourself, what do I need right now? Do you need fresh air? Do you need to get out of the room? That fight or flight response will just immediately pull or push you into being reactive. What asking yourself a question does is it puts you into ah, centering yourself. What do you need? What do you require in this moment? Because a lot of the time when we react from these states, we usually are reacting with anger or sadness and it's actually not how we feel or not what we need. We're just being reactive from that place. When you ask yourself, what do you need? Do you need a break from this environment? Do you need to leave the room? Do you need a glass of water? Do you need deep breaths? You know you better than anybody else on the planet. It is so important, and I have learned this in my own experience, for you to teach yourself to become your greatest support system. And you can learn how to be that, okay? You can. I've done it. You can definitely do it. It's possible. You ask yourself, what do, you, what do I need right now? What do I require in this moment? So first, don't judge yourself. Second, Get present, even if it's uncomfortable, okay? Even if it's uncomfortable. Just because it's uncomfortable doesn't mean anything's wrong, you need to lift out, it's just discomfort. Have no point of view about discomfort. And then number three, actually allowing yourselves to tap in with you, ask yourself, what do you need? What do I need right now? What do I require? And then act on that. Instead of acting on your initial first click response of what you wanna do, get mad at somebody, cry, run out, what you wanna do is ask yourself, what do you require? and then actually give it to yourself. I have learned over the years that being nurturing and kind to yourself in those moments when you're flooded will actually help you time and time again deal with and actually work with the emotions that are coming up. The emotions coming up are not wrong. I cannot stress that enough. So if you'd like more help with this and you'd like to learn how to do this for yourself, you can book a private session with me at wildrosewellness.net and they're buy one, get one free right now. And even in the future, if you're listening to this video, you can message me and get a session at buy one, get one free. I can actually help you become your best cheerleader become your best support system so that you can go through your life and actually be able to facilitate yourself and be nurturing and kind to yourself instead of critical. All right. I love and adore you all. You can like and subscribe this video for more videos and I will see you next time.
Bye.